There's, a, there's some boxes to unbox. This is like the uh, unexciting kind of unboxing, old HDMI cable. This also came. Hopefully you can see where I'm going with this. Uh. <laughs> That's gonna be sad if I have to return it. This is gonna make my life a lot easier. Sweet, sweet, sweet. What's up folks? This is a little quickie update video slash podcast episode for you. And that is all because I unapologetically want you to follow me on Twitch. I'm gonna spare you the rant about monetization and what I'm thinking about as a internet content creator, and I'm just gonna give you a heads up and cut to the chase about what this means for you. I'm personally looking to Twitch for two reasons. One, to stream live episodes of the Emulsion Podcast, and two, to cook on the internet via DOD. This is just the perfect worlds colliding, and I just really think that it's a good opportunity. So that's where I'm gonna move those two shows. I wanna up the production quality, use this camera that I'm using here instead of my iPhone to record some of the podcast episodes. I wanna start actually getting a schedule down so that you folks can look forward to those live broadcasts as well. And most of all, I wanna create a place where you can come and hang out and either watch me talk about news stories or just hang out and watch me cook on the internet. My Twitch channel is twitch.tv slash justincana. Super stoked that I got that name. It's linked up below. It's completely free. I would love for you to be there when I go live. It looks like this. You sign up for your own account. And you can even do it through Facebook and boom, you just hit that purple heart and you're all set. Please be patient with me on this stuff. I'm just a one man show. This is a completely new platform. The workflow is different. All of the terminology is different as well. So I'm still trying to navigate that. But like I said, I just want to give you a heads up so that when I go live on that platform, you're not like, what the f and don't worry, the podcast is not going away in video form from YouTube to Twitch. The episodes are gonna be streamed live on Twitch. I'm gonna take that video and then just post it onto YouTube. Very similar to what I did back in the day when I used to stream it on Facebook and then upload to YouTube. You're still gonna be able to watch the video on YouTube and listen to it as a podcast. That part's not gonna change. It's just where I'm recording the episodes live is gonna change. And with that comes a lot more interaction. I just see Twitch as such a white space for chefs. YouTube is very crowded and the food section of Twitch looks like what I would have envisioned the YouTube YouTube food section looking at like way back in the early 2000s. It's crazy. So my personal thinking is I can't not at least try this new platform. So that's the short version. Go follow me on Twitch. My name's Justin Kana. Have a good one. Okay, short term folks are gone. Now we get into the longer story, the bigger picture, what I'm thinking, let's get into it. You folks know I'm all about doing things as effectively as possible. I personally wanna grow. I'm not ashamed to say that at all. I personally hate being reliant on YouTube 100% to make sure that my ideas get shared. If something happened and YouTube just went away tomorrow, where would I be with my videos? I don't know. So part of this is making sure that I'm diversifying where I'm spreading my ideas. You guys have seen it with me making sure that I get you on my email list following me on Instagram, I'm posting a lot on Twitter lately. I just wanna make sure that like even the biggest YouTubers are having issues with their subscribers not getting a heads up when they post. The algorithm is always changing and AdSense money is like pennies per thousand views and even to get that, you have to make sure that your videos uphold to a certain standard and it's just so much is out of your control as a creator. It's one of my primary reasons why I moved to Patreon but I've already voiced my concerns about Patreon before. And of course it's not about the money but for example, Twitch is owned by Amazon so if you have a Prime membership, you already have a Twitch Prime membership. And with that Prime membership, that means that you never get ads on Twitch. And you might be asking, well, Justin, if they're not showing ads in your video, how do you get paid for showing ads in your video? Apparently, and this is at least for my understanding, even if you're just a Twitch subscriber watching my videos, those views count and I get paid. It's pretty dope, right? That, of course, can't happen until at least 50 of you follow me on that platform, so that's why I'm going hard on getting those first 50 followers. But I know what it's like to be a chef. You don't have a ton of extra money at the end of the month, and what I like about Twitch is the fact that if you're already paying for Amazon Prime for all the other convenient benefits that it provides, you can technically support me without having to dish out any extra cash. Back to that terminology thing, there's a difference between a follower and a subscriber and a view on Twitch. With YouTube, for example, say you watch one of my videos, that counts as a view. If you like what you see, then you hit that subscribe button, then that means that you really like what I do and you wanna get a heads up every single time I post something new, but both of those are completely free. With Twitch, you can view, that counts as a view, and then you can follow, that's kinda like being a subscriber, and then there's one tier up from that, that's called a subscriber. And inside of that subscriber tier, there's three levels of subscribers, starting at five bucks, 
10 bucks and 25 bucks. With that subscriber stuff though, unlike Patreon, I have to split half of that money with Twitch. If you're wanting to support me financially and don't do anything else on Twitch, Patreon is still the best way to do that. I was doing some research. You do have the option of like donating your subscription 100% to the creator, but that doesn't auto renew every month. So you have to have the hassle of going in and making sure that all your stuff gets charged every single, it's just a mess. But they make it inconvenient like that so you're more likely to just subscribe to the creator and then they get their money. Make sense? It's not really reliable for me and it's super inconvenient for you. However, with that Twitch subscription, you do get access to the subscriber only chat room, unique emojis to use while you're chatting, and then special messages that you can send to me while I'm streaming. So if you're not really into Twitch or any other gaming streamers, you can use that subscription to support me and that's absolutely free for you. I really like that feature. Now let's Say you do enjoy other Twitch streamers, there's another function of Twitch where you can buy these things called bits and you can essentially inject those into your comments and cheer me on when I'm live streaming. And that'll essentially function like a little micro payment. You'll give me just a few cents every single time you drop some bits on my channel. It is 2018 and I just said the words drop some bits on my channel. I feel so old, I have no idea what any of this is, but I'm learning. So now let us talk through some potential questions you might have. What is up with Patreon? Patreon is still gonna be there, it's clean, I like the platform. I actually have a conference about Patreon here in Seattle that I'm going to tonight, so I'm excited to learn what they're up to going forward. I just got to the Hotel Theodore here downtown, and I'm here, day I was there. Patreon I'm super excited. I am still a fan of their vision while I'm at where I'm at in this journey. Another question you might have, is there going to be a paywall for content now? No, as of right now, all of my content is free. I wanna keep it free as long as I can possibly do that. It is a decision that I made with Patreon a few months ago, and I have said it before, I do work two side jobs plus do my own private events to pay my bills right now. I would love to not have to work the food truck anymore and use that time to create more content for you folks. But making nice videos videos is not cheap. Living in Seattle is not cheap. And this is not me complaining. This is just me not being afraid to ask for money. I used to be afraid to ask for money, but not anymore. I am confident that my content is valuable and it's going to better you as a chef and improve your career. And I'm super open to your folks' suggestions about how I can get you excited about that subscriber-only feed on Twitch. You can watch as much of my free content as you want, but say you have $10 left at the end of the month, hook it up. So right now, the Emulsion and Dish of the Day are the two shows that I want to premiere on Twitch. Have them be live, have you be able to interact with me. But I see so many opportunities with Twitch. Like, for example, Chef's Table Pastry is coming out in a few weeks. I would love to watch that with you folks. We all squat up open Netflix in one window and Twitch in another window and we just watch it together and share our comments and our ideas and our thoughts. Ugly Delicious, I've already binge watched that entire thing. I'm sure some of you have as well, but I would love to watch that again with you folks and talk about it throughout the entire episode. I would love to figure out a way to do like a going out to eat Twitch stream with a cool restaurant. Maybe we do a show where you guys send me dishes that you've plated or created and we talk through them, how you can improve. We'll do like a live knife sharpening, ask me anything. Because Twitch is owned by Amazon, Amazon, all my gear videos can essentially have photos of that product underneath the video. So if you see a piece of gear and you're like, whoa, that's dope, you can just click right from that video instead of going YouTube to kit, kit to Amazon. It's just another quote unquote free way to support me. And I mean, if you were gonna buy that paring knife anyways, why not just give me that $1.26 kickback or whatever it was, am I right? I just love the idea of me getting closer to doing this internet thing full time and also never having to say the words this video is sponsored by because you folks completely support the work that I do. I don't need a lot. I don't expect to get rich on this stuff, but I do want to help you. And I have no doubt that there will be a day that we do have that sponsored video. But I cannot tell you how good it felt the other day to turn down a brand ambassador deal with a company. I don't answer to a company. I answer to you folks, the people that I'm making this content for. And that's what gets me excited. There are so many ideas that I have, but again, the step number one in getting this entire ball rolling is to head over to Twitch, follow me there, subscribe if it's free for you, or if it's something that you're interested in supporting me on. It's gonna be kind of a rocky start because the back end is completely different from YouTube and Instagram and Patreon. So just bear with me while I learn the ins and outs of that. Don't worry, it's gonna be fast. I'm a fast learner. In the meantime though, you can do me a favor and start to brainstorm what ideas would get you excited about Twitch as a place to come hang out. I am counting on you folks as the OG fam to help me build out Twitch to be the coolest and most positive place for creative and ambitious chefs to 
hang out on the internet. Leave me those ideas in the comments or just let me know which of the ideas that I brought up where you're like, yes, do that. I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for your support. Who knows, maybe we decide that Twitch is too much of a headache and YouTube's where it's at. But I gotta at least try it, right? I'm not afraid to try it, so let's do it. My name's Justin Kana. Have a good one.